Obviously, we have a, a second diagnosis of, uh, of Ebola. Uh, again, this is a, a healthcare worker who was working to treat the patient at Texas Presbyterian Hospital, uh, the first individual who'd con who uh, had been diagnosed with Ebola in this country. Um, so that, uh, that, indication, that indicates the, the seriousness of this situation. Uh, and the President uh, believed that it was important to convene the senior members of his team who are responsible for coordinating uh, this response. Uh, a so-called Ebola czar. Um, what I, uh, I'll reiterate what we've said in the past on this, which is that we have. Uh, well, again, there are clear lines of responsibility that are in place. Uh, there is an individual here at the White House, a highly competent individual, Lisa Monaco, the president's homeland security advisor, who's responsible for integrating that response. But again, if we determine that additional resources or additional staffing uh, or additional expertise is needed to augment this response, uh, then we won't hesitate to take advantage of it. But again. If we determine that additional resources or additional staffing uh, or additional expertise is needed. You saw the news release from CDC and from uh, one of the uh, domestic airlines today uh, indicating that they were contacting um, passengers who were on the same flight as this individual uh, to uh, make sure that they were educated uh, about the risk to which they were exposed. Now, what our medical experts tell us is that that risk is quite low. Uh, but it is important for people to have access to uh, that information so that they can get the facts about what sort of risk uh, they're facing. Uh, again, that risk is low. Uh, and what steps uh, should be taken, uh, if necessary, in the unlikely event that they do start to display some symptoms. So, so there's, not, there's not one person in charge. Uh, well, I think that there are individuals who are the there are individuals who are directly responsible for their line of responsibility. And uh, people should continue to be confident. Uh, in the response that's organized by the government in reaction to this specific uh, situation. Uh, the reason for that is simply that we have a modern medical infrastructure in place that, again, has not been flawless. We pointed out why that was the case, that even one transmission to a health healthcare worker is unacceptable. Uh, people should take solace in the fact that, quite frankly, we know exactly how uh, Ebola is transmitted. It's not transmitted through the air, it's not transmitted through food or water, but only through close contact with the bodily fluids of an individual that has symptoms of Ebola. Uh, but this is a, this is a deadly graphic disease. The CDC today is saying it was improper for the healthcare worker to fly from Cleveland to Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, the President does believe that we need to see more from the international community, uh, that we have not seen uh, a sufficient commitment of resources and personnel from other countries uh, to dealing with this urgent situation in West Africa. Uh, the, uh, the stakes are high, uh, and the impact on the local population there is tragic. Uh, and uh, we need to see uh, a more significant commitment of resources from countries around the world uh, to, uh, to dealing with this effort. Uh, face a significant risk here. In fact, the risk is, according to our medical professionals, uh, rather low. Uh, but what we will do, uh, that's something that is not on the table at this point. And again, the reason for that, just in case people haven't heard the, the previous answer that I've given to this question, uh, it's important for people to understand exactly why that's the case. Uh, shutting down travel to that area of the world would prevent the expeditious flow of personnel and equipment into the region. And the only way for us to stop this outbreak and to eliminate any risk uh, from Ebola to the American public uh, is to stop this outbreak at the source for the president that these things weren't anticipated and, and figured out? I'll see what I can do to get you an answer. 